Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Bahasham, Racha Hodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much this video is going to be about mainly the fourth industrial revolution. But um, before I get into that, I'm just going to briefly go over the first three industrial revolutions. All right. Because the goal of the fourth industrial revolution is to merge man and machine together through this device right here. And this is what we slowly are seeing throughout all these societies all around the world. Because this is the agenda of the Edomites, all right? The, the sea line of the so-called white man, beginning with the Rothschilds on down. The Rothschilds, they control all these central banks, and they control the Federal Reserve. So it would be through their power, ultimately through the Most High's power, right? According to the Bible prophecies, but it would be through their authority that they can cause a global economic collapse because they control all these governments worldwide, all right? They control the money systems. So if they want to come up with an entirely new system, they can do that, and they will do that, which is going to be what? This um, cashless digital society age, all right? So this is what they want to do. They want to cause a global economic collapse, and they want to make this mandatory. This is the end game or the agenda of the NWO. So first, let's get into this. Now, this is the first industrial revolution, right? It says it's dealing with what? Coal in 1765. It says the original industrial revolution transformed our economy from agriculture to industry. All right. Because back in ancient times, all right, people, they just did things by hand and feet, you know, hard work, hard labor. All right. But now the most high increasing man's knowledge right daniel 12 and 4 i believe it is wisdom is being increased on all levels all right so now the most high the heavenly father he have put in the minds of these people on earth to what increase their knowledge and this is where machines started being built right it says um processes became mechan me uh, mechanized excuse me and products were manufactured for the first time. During this period, the discovery of coal and its mass extraction, as well as the development of the steam engine and metal forging, completely changed the way goods were produced and exchanged. Inventions such as spinning machines and looms to make fabric were making their appearance. This is dealing with the first industrial revolution. Canal transportation began replacing wagon and mules for moving around these goods. So that's the first industrial revolution. Now, from the first to the second, let's see how things became more evolved, right? So now the second the second industrial revolution is dealing with what? Gas, right? In 1870. It says, as the first industrial revolution was driven by coal, the second revolved around the discovery of electricity, gas, and oil. The invention of the combustion engine went hand in hand with these fuel sources. Both steel and chemically based products entered the market during this time. Developments in communication technology got a jump start with the telegraph and later the telephone. Transportation grew by leaps and bounds with the invention of the plane and car. It says mechanical production grew in speed through the event or advent of mass production. All right. So the, the second industrial revolution is dealing with what? Electricity, gas, and oil and oil. All right. And then later on the telephone. Now let's see the third industrial revolution, which is going to deal with what? Electronics. So it says um the third industrial revolution, electronics and nuclear in 1969. 
After another 100 years, nuclear energy and electronics enter the landscape. Nuclear power began in Europe, grew in both Great Britain and the United States, went into remission for years, and grew in Asia. All right, so this was the introduction of nuclear-powered, you know, um, inventions and electronics. Now, the fourth industrial revolution is to what? Have man and machine into one. And how are they going to do that? Do this implantable microchip, which according to the Bible is the MOTB, which is an acronym for what you see right here. This is the end game of these agendas. When you read in the Bible about Jacob's trouble, you know, the hour of temptation and stuff of that nature, that's dealing with the elite banking families because they control all these governments because they control money, right? The Rothschilds and, you know, the different relatives, whether they be in the United States, you know, Europe, all over the world, they control the central banks. So they control these governments. But because you don't see their names in the Forbes list of the top 100 richest people in the world, you'll never know about them unless you do deep research. But really, it's just all through the spirit. All right. Your Hawashai has to open up your understanding for you to be able to piece everything together. And he did that through our apostles and elders and the brothers of Great Millstone and the believers. Right. So this is a part of the fourth industrial revolution. When you hear about, you know, on meetings such as the World Economic Forum and when they all come together, all these different nations and they're all in the room, they're all in one accord pursuing the Psalms, the 83rd chapter. All right. And the main agenda is to what? Make everybody a slave through technology. This is what they want. They want to do away with fiat currency. They want to do away with all currencies. And they want a one world currency that's going to flow through the Bank of England. All right. And that one world currency, what they're not telling you is that it's going to be on this chip. That's why Revelation 13 and 17 says what? That no man is going to be able to buy or sell. Um, at least he have the mark or the M-A-R-K. Because what's going to be on this M-A-R-K? The currency. All right. The one world currency that they're going to come up with, that they're going to make mandatory, that's going to be on this chip throughout all the world. So this is a part of the fourth industrial revolution. And you have guys such as um, Carl Swab and other key people. All right. That is down with this agenda. The transhumanism is a part of what man and machine becoming one. This is what they want. And they want to push this thing as a thing of convenience. But that's where the deception comes in it, right? Now, jumping back. Now, this is the fourth industrial revolution, which involves what? Internet and renewable energy, right? In the early 2000s. So it says, as we continue moving through the fourth industrial revolution, we see a shift to renewable energy, such as solar, wind, and geo, um, other mile. All right, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but... You see the word there, geothermal, right? It says, however, the momentum comes not from the shift in energy, but from the acceleration of digital technology. The chip is dealing with what? Digital. Paying for things through NFC. What does NFC mean? Near field communication. All right. Everybody has a debit card. It has that magnetic strip. Or um, most debit cards, they have the chip in the front now. Now, what does that do? It transfers data from the card to the machine, the card reader. So now they want to put this technology on a chip and make it mandatory. All right. But they know a lot of people is going to have a problem with it because a lot of people all over the world, they know what the MOTB or the implantable RFID chip implant. They know what it is according to Revelation 13 and 16. So now they have to stage events, do these false flag events, these false flag attacks, do these different um, disease outbreaks, like how we were seeing with the ABC-19 and all kind of things. They have to stage these things to work on your mind. That's why they have, you know, phrases such as auto-app you know, um, finding a solution 
through a problem that they cause so that they can use that problem. All right. To sway your minds, <clears throat> to deceive you into taking this chip or to accept their agendas as a thing of convenience. So this is what this chip is going to be about. And this is ultimately the end game of the fourth industrial revolution. All right. So it says the Internet and digital world mean a real time connection within more and more components of a production line, both inside and outside facility walls. As the development of the, indu the industrial Internet of Things, cloud technology and artificial intelligence continue, a virtual world will merge with the physical world. And they plan to do that by how? Making mandatory that M-A-R-K of the beast. That's what they want to do, which is that RFID chip implant, whether you want to believe it or not. That's how they want to merge man and machine. See, the third industrial revolution, they created electronics and stuff of that nature, right? But now the fourth industrial revolution is a continuation, but now it's on a higher level now. Now they pretty much want to make you a cyborg, not necessarily a cyborg, but they want to implant you with this chip and through that, all right, have you become one with machines. That's what they want to do. So it says predictive maintenance and real time data will lead to smarter businesses. See, that's that's the deception. It says decisions for a myriad of companies around the world. All right. So they, they want to push this chip as a thing of convenience. So now I'm going to read some of this a little bit. So it says the fourth industrial revolution from wikipedia.org, right? It says, yep, rapid change to technologies and industries and societal patterns and processes in the 21st century due to the increasing interconnectivity and smart automation. It says the term has been widely, the term has been used widely in scientific literature and in 2015 was popularized by Clara Swab, which, you know, if you don't know, he's a rough job. It says the World Economic Forum founder and executive chairman. All right. So there you go. And this is a part of the fourth industrial revolution, as you can see here. All right. It says a part of this phase of industrial change is the joining of technologies like artificial intelligence, gene editing, to advance robotics that blur the lines between the physical, digital, and biological world. So they want to combine all this. And how are they going to do that? Through the chip. All right, making the chip mandatory. So I'm going to keep this open. Let's get into the scriptures real quick. This is um, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. And that's why you got scriptures like, you know, the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy. All right. Because, see, when you read Psalms, the 83rd chapter, who was the first nations to rise up against Israel? Or what's the nations that's mentioned in Psalms, the 83rd chapter? Amalek, Ishmael, you know, the, the different Hermetic tribes, Moab, Ammon, right? Pretty much all the heathen. Because all the heathen are in one accord and they're following after Esau Edom with this NWO agenda. All right? Continuing on, this is 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us. So the word there for Satan is what? Satanus, which is talking about a Satan-like man. Who is Satan's physical counterpart on the planet Earth? The so-called white man and his seed line. Man carries the seed, going back to the word sperm. All right? Because you are what your father is. There's no such thing as being biracial or... 2% this and 97%. That's stupid. That's confusion. That doesn't make sense. All right. See, the Bible is clear. This is how the Heavenly Father set it up. Every person on the planet Earth comes from the sperm or the seed of a man that grows within a woman. She nurtures it. Right. And then that seed grows and then it's born into the world. Right. So it says, least Satan. Right. So it's talking about the Edomites. Right, the so-called white man in sea line, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, because we understand his agendas, ultimately his NWO agenda, 
according to the Bible. All right. We understand what this fourth industrial revolution is about. Cashless society, merging man and machine through something that they call transhumanism. We understand his agendas because through Yahweh Shai, he has given us the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures to understand the time period we're living in. All right. We're living in pretty much the last minutes or final seconds of the so-called white man being in power, Lord willing. All right. But before he makes this chip mandatory, Jacob's trouble has to commence. All right. All hell has to break loose in society in the form of a global economic collapse. So it says, yep, so we are not ignorant of his devices. I'm just going to this word devices. The word there is um, naima, right? And what does it say? A mental perception, thought, and evil purpose. Hence, that's where you get the word conspiracy from. Because what does the word conspiracy mean? A plotting of evil by a group of people. And what's that group of people? And what's, what's their evil agendas? To implant you with a chip. That's the New World Order endgame. Right? An evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. So this is the agenda that they have, but it's, it's in the scriptures, what they're trying to do, and how they're going to try and deceive people through the miracles, which the miracles is what? The technology and their pseudoscience. They're pushing this thing as a thing of convenience, like all oh, humans are evolving, but that's the deception part. All right? Now let's get into this. Now, this is Revelation. I'm going to start at 14. Revelation 13 and 14. It says, and deceive of them, because this was talking about what? Rome that will later on down the line come back into power, which first began when? At the time of the Renaissance. The word Renaissance means the rebirth. The rebirth of who? The Edomites coming back into power. Because prior to the Renaissance, who was in power? The Israelites for a thousand years during the Dark Ages, or what you call the Byzantine Empire or the medieval times, or the Holy Roman Empire, right? We was ruling back then. That's when you get the uh, Russian icons, the, the dark skin images, you know, of the Messiah, the angels, the prophets, the Israelites, you know, the Lord's uh, mom, Mary, right? So forth and so on. So then after that, you had the Renaissance, which is what? The Edomites coming back into power to fulfill their lot in prophecy. Going back to Daniel, the second chapter. All right. Second Ezra six and nine. Esau is the end of the world. That's one of the major signs that the Edomites will come back into power. All right. So Revelation 13 or 14 and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. And ultimately, what's these miracles? His pseudoscience, which is his false science, falsely so-called because science is real. But the way how the so-called white man or teach you about science is for you not to believe in the most high you know to try and disprove that the most high doesn't exist you know that he could do things better than the most high that the most high messed up with creation or oh, the most high created you know herbs for us to consume and stuff of that nature but let me do it better through genetically modified foods let me alter this let me gene splice this you know let me let me um let me mix DNAs together. Let, let's splice seeds together. That's the so-called white man. That's his pseudoscience. All right. And his miracles ultimately is what? His technology. Because you have something called what? The brain chip implants through Neuralink, which that's what Elon Musk, that's part of his agenda. All right. Which is ultimately the agenda of all these Edomites, beginning with the Rothschilds, to implant you with a chip. Because the brain chip implant that they make mandatory that's the MOTB as well, right? So here's part of the miracles, right? So I'm going to read this part again, and then I'm going to um, scroll down. I'm going to read it again. It says, a part of this phase of industrial change is the joining of technologies, right? Like artificial intelligence, gene editing to advanced robotics that blur the lines between the physical, digital, and biological worlds, right? So check this out. It says, throughout this, fundamental shifts are taking place in how the global production and supply network operates through ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices. Using modern smart technology, large-scale machine-to-machine communication, 
and the Internet of Things. This integration results in increasing automation, improving communication and self-monitoring, and the use of smart machines that can analyze and diagnose issues without the need for human intervention, right? It also represents a social, political, and economic shift from the digital age of the late 1990s and early 2000s to an era of embedded um, connectivity distinguished by the omni-use and commonness of technolo um, technological use throughout society. And then they give you an example, metaverse, right? That changes the ways humans experience and know the world around them. It says it posits that we have created and are entering an augmented social reality compared to just natural senses and industrial ability of humans alone. All right. So that's part of the miracles, the technology, because there's even videos of people that were paralyzed and then they get like a brain chip implant. And all of a sudden now then their nervous system is repaired. Now their limbs that were once paralyzed and they couldn't use it now through the technology, they can use it. So that would be like a miracle, you know, because you're pronounced to be paralyzed that you can never use certain um, functions of your body or your body can't react normally. And now through the technology, now you, you can move it. See, a person will say that's a blessing, but according to the scriptures, that's the deception part. All right. So the miracles is the pseudoscience and the um, technology. That's how he deceives the world. Right. It says, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image. And that's that's what this World Economic Forum. All right. The United Nations, you know, all these different meetings that they have on a yearly basis. This is what they do. They're following after the so-called white man, the biblical Edomites. All right. And that's why this NWO agenda is going to be all over the world. It's for the whole entire world. The hour of temptation is coming upon the world. When they make this chip mandatory, that's coming upon all the world. Why? Because all the nations are gathered unto Esau Edom and they're following after them. Right? It says, In the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image. Now, ultimately, his image in this lifetime is what? The NWO agenda, right? Which involves that implantable device being made mandatory. But before they do that, they have to cause a global economic collapse. So it says, an image to the beast, which had the wound, right? Talk about Rome that was destroyed, but then it will come back into power, beginning with the Renaissance, all right? And then you had things such as the Treaty of Rome, which represent what? America and the European Union. So now Rome is fully in power again, right? So it says, an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And this is where you get your project Megiddo, you know, the Rex 84, the King Alfred plan, which is pretty much what? The persecution and the destruction of the Israelites, right? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, beginning with the ones that know the truth, because we're the main target. See, John the Revelator being sent to the island of Patmos, that was a prelude to what will happen today as well, all right? Because you're going to have brothers that get thrown in these concentration camps for what you call treason, all right? Which is speaking out against the authorities that be in power, which is Esau Edom. Because the scriptures command us to do that. Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, prophesy against Mount Seir. So we're telling them that what? That their agenda, according to the Bible, as it is written, that is going to fail. They're going to succeed in chipping some people because prophecy, every word of it, got to be fulfilled. All right. But to think that you're going to remain in power forever, that's not biblical. All right. That's not biblical. That's not what's written. Your downfall is recorded in the scriptures. When Yahweh Shai comes back by the way of the so-called UFOs, he's going to take these devils out of power. All right. And you heathen are joint unto them. Y'all going to go into slavery. That's what's recorded in the Bible. 
And if you're a person that believes in the Bible, you shouldn't have a problem with it. So it says, continuing on, it says, and he calls of all. Now, who's the he that calls of all? The Edomites, beginning with the Rothschilds that controlled the central bank, that controlled the Federal Reserve. That's a, that's a light thing for them to make it mandatory. Because you got people online, they talk about, oh, how, how are they going to be able to do this? There's no way that they could possibly do that. Of course, they can easily do that. All right. But they don't want to just do it right away. They have to stage events. So that you can think that it's a thing of convenience to accept this chip in that NWO system that they're coming with, which involves what? A cashless digital society where they will make you an everlasting slave. All right. So it says in he talk about the Edomites, right? Cause of all, meaning that it's going to be mandatory all over the earth because the hour of temptation is what? Come upon all the world. Right. Both small and great on uh, rich and poor, free and bond, everybody in society, <clears throat> to receive a M-A-R-K. Now, when you go into this word, M-A-R-K, in Revelation 13 and 16, the word there is haragma, right? Which is talking about what? An imprinted mark or an incision. Something that punctures your flesh and it goes underneath the skin. That's literally how the RFID chip implant, that's how the procedure is done, Right? Now, when you go into the root word of karagma, the word there is karax, right? Which is talking about what? A pale stick or palisade. What is that referring to? The syringe that's used to puncture your flesh and insert the RFID slash NFC chip implant inside of you. Making it what? An imprinted M-A-R-K. All right? Then when you take it a step further, you understand what? That these chips, it can store data on them. All right. And here's the proof. Strong's G 1125. The word there is um, grapho. Right. Which it pretty much means to what? Store information on a specific type of material. In other words, the one world currency, your identification records, everything is going to be on this chip. There won't be no need for no wallet for you unbelievers during this time because it's going to be the unbelievers that's going to be deceived into taking this chip. All right, because they don't have the gift of faith, which comes from Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, which is only for the elect of the nation of Israel only. All right, only the elect of the nation of Israel have the fear of the Lord and the gift of faith to deny this chip. All right, because you're not going to be able to buy or sell if you have this chip, but I'm going to get into it. All right, so everything that you would keep in the safe, all your important documentation records, every and any little thing, keys, everything, everything is going to be on this chip and it's going to be stored as data. All right. It's a tracking device, but it can also store data on it. All right. Now, jumping back, it says in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, who's talking about the brain chip implants? Elon Musk. All right. And that's why I said that they use things such as the brain chip implants as a miracle, which is part of their deception, how they deceive the whole world into thinking that it's a blessing. It's a thing of convenience. Oh, look Look at what God did for us. But they lying to the people. Continuing on, it says, and that no man, this is a worldwide event that's going to take place one day. And that time is very soon, right? You hear the talks of nuclear war, but before the nuclear war takes place, what has to be made mandatory? The RFID chip implant throughout all the world. All right. It has to be made mandatory before the destruction takes place. Revelation 13 and 17. That no man is a worldwide event. Right. Because it says that he calls of all. Right. And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that have that had the M.A.R.K. All right. So this is letting you know what the dollar is going to be completely worthless at this time period. Gold and silver. You're not going to be able to trade or buy with that. Cryptocurrency, that's not going to be a thing no more because it's going to be a one world currency that's on the chip. That's why you're going to need the chip to buy and sell because the one world currency is going to be on the chip. How else are you going to buy and sell without the RFID chip implant at that time? So that's why the scriptures call it the hour of temptation, because to an unbeliever, you're going to be tempted to take in a chip. But the believers, all right, that have the... um. The testimony of Yahweh Shai 
all right, in the fear of the Lord, ultimately the gift of faith, we're not going to take the chip. Lord willing, not be a part of that, right? So it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K. So this is going to be the only way to buy and sell at that time. It doesn't matter how many currencies they have now, all right? This is going to be the law of the world soon. So it says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right? So that's pretty much it with that. I'm just going to end it with this. Because the ones of you that take this chip, Lord willing, it ain't me. You're going to be destroyed. All right. This is Revelation 14 and verse 9. Because that's our job as the prophets, to give the warning. Before something takes place, before something occurs on the planet Earth, the Most High, he gives the warning through the mouth of the prophets. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying <clears throat> with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast, right, and his image, and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand. So if you get this chip in your left hand or your right hand or anywhere in your body, you received it. Even if you get the chip and let's say you somehow take it out, you still got to get the judgment that's written, which is what? Destruction by fire and brimstone that I'm about to read. So it says, <clears throat> the same shall drink. Of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Meaning you're going to get the full extent of the Lord's wrath because you was warned by the mouth of the prophets that this was these Edomites agenda. You was told who was doing it, what they look like, that it was recorded in history 2000 years before it took place. That's why the word indignation is there. Right. It says his indignation. Whose indig indignation? The word indignation, it means righteous anger. Why is the God of Israel righteous for destroying you people that take this M-A-R-K of the beast? All right. By taking this M-O-T-B, his chip, because you was warned not to do it. You was told that this time period was going to take place on the earth and you was tempted. You was enticed to sin by taking it. Why? Because you don't have the gift of faith ultimately. All right. So it says, and he shall be tormented, right? Even if you somehow you take the chip out and you got it, you still got to get the judgment written. Why? Because you received it. All right. You made that choice to get that chip because you, you was unfaithful. You didn't believe you got to get the judgment written. All right. The ones that's going to be destroyed is the ones that take the chip. So it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. Meaning a Pacific period of time. Because the impact of the nuclear missiles is going to have America from an aerial view. From a sky view. Looking like a lake of fire. It's going to be on fire. The impact of all the nuclear missile warheads hitting America. Which is Babylon the Great. Right? But then when the smoke clears, it's going to turn into a desert. And the surrounding waters is going to dry up. So it says, forever and ever, and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the M-A-R-K of his name. All right, so this is what's shortly going to come to pass. So, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect. Shalom.